What's up guys, Cheese here, and the tournament was huge, it was big, I sucked, big time, uh, one of my clan mates actually won it I believe, Jacob, and now I'll never hear the end of it, and everyone just says he's good because he uses triple legendaries, but whatever, it doesn't even matter, um, what really does matter is yes, yes, that's me, Arena 6, now I have a chance at 3 legendaries, look at that, look at that, look at that, what is it? Is that the miner? Oh my god. I hate Sparky. Just kidding. No, I really do though. I hate Sparky. But, anyways, I finally made it to Arena 6. So, that's. This is what we're gonna look at now. Uh, I had some tough battles to get here. Had to change my deck a ton of times. But I finally found a deck that I like and that I'm pretty good at using. And now that I'm in a new arena, I might get some new cards that I can throw in there to uh, switch things up a bit. Uh, so you can see here, I kind of just charge the opposite lane. The Musketeers took each other out on the other side. I zap the Minion Horde. Uh, I lure over the Hog, drop some Goblins because the tower is distracted by the minion horde so uh, easily handled his uh, push um, I wasn't able to see his rage yet but uh, he decides to drop his witch in the back um, so I'm not really too worried about it because I know the musketeer can one shot all those skeletons so I'm gonna drop her and then once uh, the skeletons are taken out I'm gonna drop my giant skeleton and boom uh, easily take out this witch and then the skeletons are gonna come in I'm gonna zap them all and he's gonna try to take me out he f has to use a defensive freeze but I hit the musketeer and then one shot at her with my musketeer and now his towers down to 1200 and then I'm gonna debate this hog over here with the cannon throw these spear goblins down um, this one was, I mean, they're all pretty tough. Uh, I upgraded, um, a lot of my cards early just because I wanted the health on my towers, not necessarily just having the good cards. Uh, I was, it was just tired of, of losing to guys with, by 200 hit points. It was like, well, if I had 200 more hit points, then I could have just fireballed this tower and won, but they had taken me out. So, it kind of... It kind of got irritating for a little bit, but now I'm battling level 9s, level 10s sometimes, so, I mean, realistically, it doesn't really matter. I'm still going to end up against higher levels. Uh, so I'm going to zap this minion horde. They still took out my mini packer because it's really low, like I said. Um, but uh, it's, it's really cool to be in Pekka's Playhouse now. Pekka's Playhouse? Does this look like Pekka's Playhouse? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to get a two for, two for one, the tower and the witch. And then I'm going to take out the witch right here. Um, anyways, so Builder's Workshop. It's actually pretty nice being in Builder's Workshop. Because now, like I said, I have these extra um, cards that I can get. Oh, man. I guess I'm a little tired. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have new options and new cards to look at and everything. And uh, it's also kind of nice to to have that whole advantage of of new cards that you're facing. You get you can easily get really really bored playing the same deck over and over again, which is what's so irritating about playing in the Legends Arena. Is all you see. Royal Giant, Royal Giant, Barbarians, Royal Giant, Barbarians. You know, down here in the lower levels. So I zap, fireball this guy. He had to have been mad about that. I hate when that happens to me. But anyways, uh, you get kind of, like, down here you get spawner decks. And, you know, hopefully now they're getting into this better gameplay. Um, so I go up, I'm going up against a level 9. And I'm pretty sure he had nearly 2,800 trophies. And I was barely under 27, so he was over 100 more than me. I had just used one of my air supports, and then my other one right here. 
for some reason it retargeted which kind of screwed everything up when he froze me but luckily uh, I was able to save the tower for a little bit and then send my P.E.K.K.A over here with the musketeer and there's nothing that he could do about it so uh, mini P.E.K.K.A gets a shot off I'm gonna fireball this minion horde uh, that's a positive elixir trade distract these spear goblins he still gets a little bit of chip damage which I mean yeah it sucks but it doesn't matter we're eventually he's eventually gonna take the tower obviously he's got this whole battle so now I'm just uh, saving up elixir and then he drops the giant skeleton he has a giant skeleton and a balloon that's so weird and until this point I didn't even realize he had a rocket which I thought was really weird too so he decides to waste his rocket on my tower. Very, very early. Now I get to put this push down the other side. And he's going to drop his skeleton army. But as soon as they close in, I'm going to zap them all. And then my giant skeleton is going to get to the tower. That's going to give me 800 hit points just from the giant bomb. That's not even including all the hits that the giant skeleton put on it. So now I got his one tower down to 1,000. And then his other is down to 1600 already. So my mini peck is going to take out these spear goblins. My spear goblins and musketeer take out the balloon. The mini peck barely gets to the tower. The spear goblins are taking down the tower. Minion horde's worthless at this point. And he decides, oh, I'm going to drop the giant skeleton. So once again, I'm going to distract zap all of his skeleton army take it out this uh, balloons gonna go down to my musketeer and the tower these spear goblins are gonna go down I fireball the tower now that's done zap the minion horde those are done and now I can start working on the other tower but I don't know this guy's got a level 4 giant skeleton like, how bad are you? And he was actually maybe smart enough? I'm not sure if he did it on purpose. But he dropped the skeleton army and baited my mini P.E.K.K.A. back into the giant bomb. Which was surprising. So now, I'm going to zap all those, take out the wizard with the giant skeleton and the mini P.E.K.K.A. And then, I tried to lure the, the balloon back. But it didn't matter because my mini pecker was over here putting in work and my giant skeleton said, See you later. Two crowns on you level 9. That's a level 8 taking you out. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that tournament. I hope you guys got in the tournament. I kind of screwed everything up. But I'll definitely do another one. It's probably not going to be this week. It may be next week. But probably a week after that will be most likely the thing. Leave comments down in the description. Let me know what you guys need to learn. What you guys need to um, see me face. What decks are you having trouble against? What cards are you having trouble against? What cards are you having trouble using? Um, let me know if you like the deck that I'm using. Because it's working out for me very well. I got a Tarina 6 obviously. Uh, leave some likes down in the uh, description. Well, not the description. Sometimes, like, I wonder if I really do speak English. Leave some likes down there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tell all your friends if you like cheese. Tell them all about cheese. And uh, that's it for today, guys. Cheese out.